Disclaimer, these tips can get you a good job, but maybe not the perfect job. In other words, sis, make that money. Don't let that money make you. sure to subscribe and watch in full because i am giving five youtubers a shout out hey guys i hate that you always have to see me in my uniform but it's the best time for me to make a video so i know you read that title first of all if you are new welcome to my channel join the toy fan hit the button subscribe it's free Secondly, if you are an old-time toy fan, then welcome back. So, and oh yeah, I appreciate every single one of you. So, let's get at it. So, I know you read that title, and you guys want to know what it takes to get a good job in 2019. Hey guys, I just want you to know I do wear regular clothes. <laughs> So I have my notes right here. So if you see me looking down, it's just because I'm reading my notes. Um, so tip number one is to network. In other words, socialize, get acquainted with as many people as you can. Um, I mean, like the more people that you have in your circle, the higher your chances are that if someone's in a position to help you, they will. Um, and it's sad to say, but the saying is true. Like, it's not all about what you know, but who you know. Tip number two, advertise yourself. So, any opportunity you have to discuss business, use it. I mean, you are your brand. So, like, basically a closed mouth don't get fed. So, like, if you have... A good skill at something tell people um you know just have conversations about employment about what they do their career um definitely like i said if you have an opportunity speak up so number three is show off your skills so it's not always enough to tell people what you do or what you're good at, but show them. And you can use opportunities like, I'll give you an example. If you're a really good cook, and maybe you've had experience in cooking before, but for some reason that's not your career at this moment, but you want to get back to that. So like if you have like a family function or a gathering you're attending or maybe your child's school is having some sort of an event. Maybe you can volunteer to cook something or bake something, you know, and bring it. Of course, you won't get paid to do it, but people will taste what you're making. And if you're really good and it's your skill, you never know, like, who might taste it and what they might do with that. You know, like somebody who maybe works at a restaurant, a manager or something, might taste it and say, wow, this is really good. Have you ever thought about working in a restaurant? <laughs> yes, I have. Tip number four, have a unique resume. Hence, I didn't say a perfect resume. I didn't say a good resume. I said a unique resume. Take it from me. My last job, as you guys know, I was a supervisor. And when we had availabilities or open slots i saw firsthand how many resumes a person can get i mean we had so many resumes it got to a point where we were just glancing over them we weren't even reading them um so your resume needs to stand out from the bunch not to mention especially if you're online because that's their first impression of you is what your resume says so like they're not you're not physically talking to them so you can't win them over by your you know your appearance or by maybe a personality so your personality has to be in that resume which brings me to number five this one is the most important of them all look 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 and look and apply look 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 and look and apply <laughs> No, but seriously, like, 
to find a job, you have to make finding a job your job. Like, you have to look any and everywhere. And don't put all your eggs in one basket either. So, like, if you're applying for a specific job that you really want badly, and maybe the manager has called you, whatever the case be, if they haven't said, hey, you're hired and you haven't accept, then keep looking. I mean, get your resume out there as much as you can, which brings me to there's some certain sites that you guys should definitely check out if you're looking for a job, which um, they helped me. Uh, I did not get a job with these sites, but I got a lot of like callbacks and interviews. And um, I did receive about, I think it's about five offerings, but I did not accept. But um, so these are the sites. We have Indeed, awesome site. Um, who doesn't know Indeed? Um, USA Jobs, um, Zip Recruit. Zip Recruit, like, I think I got about three offers on there, but it was more so like by commission. So that's not what I was looking for. But definitely, like, if you don't have a job at all and you've really been hunting, check out those sites. Also, go to job fairs. I don't know how much to stress, stress that. Like, that's basically like a, a platform you know like usually at job fairs there's more than one employer so you will see multiple companies and you know like you can bring that awesome unique resume <laughs> and get it out there okay so now you're ready to get hired but before you do let's show a little support to these youtubers